Hi guys, I'm Deb. As many of you know, I got a lot of black beans to get rid of. I'll try anything with black beans at this point. You saw that bag? Today, we are going to make black bean soup. This soup, you smell it as it's cooking. It's just the Pied Piper of soups. I've got neighbors coming over for this. I got this recipe online. It's from Bon Appetit. And why do I have to show you if you could just go online? Basically, they've all been me too. The whole lot of them. Every last one of them. They're in a me too moment right now. So you don't want to go onto their site. Now, I'm not normally a fan of Bon Appetit's recipes because usually they involve a Confederate flag or blackface. But this recipe got me. And really, you don't have to change a thing from this recipe, except for the writers of the recipe need to change. It's really easy. It's like probably all stuff you have in the house. Maybe you don't have 25 pound bag of black beans. I might be down to 20 pounds now. We're just gonna cook this on the stove, in our Dutch oven. I am not a soup person and I love this soup. I will only eat soup until my carbohydrates are gone. So for this soup, I will just put a lot of tortilla chips in. It's just me. It's just the way I am. Let me show you how easy this is. I started with warming up a quarter cup of olive oil. I put in my onions, my carrots, and my garlic. Then I added a quarter cup of red wine vinegar and I just cooked that until it reduced a little. Then I used two tablespoons of chipotle chili adobo sauce. I added my pound of dried black beans, one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano, and one tablespoon of kosher salt because, you know, I'm Jewish. Once it's boiling, I turn it down to a simmer and cover it. Then I cook it for two hours. I check it every 30 minutes just to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. Make sure you have sour cream. Make sure you have tortilla chips. Make sure you have avocado. Those are my three go-tos. Once this is cooled, I also put my soup in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer because I'm just not gonna eat all of this right now. It'll stay good for like three months, but if you're like me, forever. It'll stay good forever. It's, it's done, you're ready to eat. avocado right now but I like to slice avocados also in this it is so good but that's all my toppings I do sour cream tortilla chips and avocado mm. I don't need a spoon just eat this until the chips are gone We have leftover chicken from a rotisserie chicken. Put that in there. I mean, the possibilities are endless. It's so good. Just 24 more times making this soup and I'll be done with that bag. Look, it's like a baby taco. Um, I guess I like a soup that's more like a meal. Chunky is the soup that eats like a meal. Make up ma'am which night. Mom's working late and you've got to feed him right? We just brown some ground beef and have a man which night. That was super easy, right? Most of the time, you're just kind of checking on it. It's super tasty, super delicious. Anything left over, if you want to freeze it, it defrosts really well. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay
stay home. Unless you're going to vote early, which I know here in New York City, we can vote early October 24th, and I will be there with my fast pass. Front of the line. Look at this. I got a fast pass tag. I'm gonna go vote early. Right up to the front of the line. Eat your heart out. I got my fast pass voting pass. Boom. Out of the line. 